GA students. This is Mr. Morasco. Hope everyone is doing well. I think that we are into week three now of our distance learning. Uh, this is going to be our activity video for our week. Uh, Mr. Morasco has also shared with you two other videos, a healthy snack video and also a storybook video. So take time to uh, spend some time with those and enjoy those. I have enjoyed visiting some of you in Zoom meetings. Unfortunately, I can't attend some of those because during your Zoom times, I'm, I'm helping deliver food on Mondays and Wednesdays. So please know though that I am thinking of you and missing you and uh, looking forward to being able to see you again someday soon. Uh, got some water here for you. Uh, reminder that you should be drinking lots of water uh, to replenish your body. Your body is made up of 75% water. So water is important for us to uh, replenish, especially now that hopefully the weather is warmer, you're outside playing more, you're gonna sweat, you're gonna get hot. So water is a great way to quench your thirst. So today, I'm gonna take you through a variety of activities using a variety of different types of balls. Um, I went to school today and grabbed a bucket of balls of different things for us to do. Um, so just follow along. Remember, these are just suggestive things that you can be doing at home. Uh, I've got my posters here, and the first activity we're going to do is called the body ball roll, in which we're going to take a ball, and we're going to try to go up and down our legs and around our body without dropping the ball. So with this activity, I would suggest that you find a smaller ball, something small. I've got a small green ball. I'm going to just take the ball, start down here on my side, and just using my hands, I'm going to roll up my body, under my arm, over my arm, across my body, under my arm, and back down. And the goal here is just to be able to do this activity without dropping the ball, keeping control of the ball. Ooh. Notice how it's going in contact with my body at all times. I'm moving it around my body. So if you could try that three, four, five times, that was body ball. The next one is called bridge ball. And on this one, you're gonna sit down, lift your knees up, and you're gonna have the ball go under your legs back and forth. This is called bridge ball. So this one here, I'm just going to take a smaller, a little bit bigger ball, medium-sized ball. I'm going to sit down, lift my knees up, and I'm just going to go back and forth. I'm trying to do that without losing control. See if you can do that five times in a row if you're a K-1 student. Two, three students, see if you can do it 10, 12 times in a row. Back and forth. So that is called bridge ball. The next activity is called eight ball. Yes, it's garbage pickup day. And I have been waiting to do this all day. And when I decide to do the video, there goes the garbage truck. Just roll with the punches. Eight ball, we've actually done this one in class. You're gonna take the ball and go through your legs, making a figure eight without dropping it. Again, you find a ball that you're comfortable with. Kindergarten and first grade students, you might want to use a smaller ball. Second, third graders, you might even want to use a bigger ball. And some of our third graders probably could even use a basketball with this. So find something that you are comfortable with. I'm going to just stick right here with the medium ball. So I'm going to go around my legs, right leg, left leg. I'm trying to do that without dropping it. If you're really good, See if you can do it without looking. Younger students, if you want to do it by keeping it on the ground, we can do it that way also. Just good ball control hand skills. Next one is called clap ball. And with clap ball, we're going to take the ball, throw it up in the air, and clap. We're going to see how many times you can clap the ball and catch it. Remember, the higher you toss the ball, 
the more claps you can get in. Remember that as we're tossing the ball up in the air, we want to keep our eyes on the ball. So this one here, I'm going to use a little bit bigger ball, a playground ball. So I'm going to throw it up, keep my eyes on the ball. Throw it up, grab and catch. Okay. If you want to make it a little harder, second, third grade suits, throw it up and catch it on one knee. Beautiful. Next one is bounce ball. And with our bounce ball, we're going to be bouncing the ball back and forth using our fingertips. Remember, we want to keep our hands on top of the ball. We're using our fingertips, and the ball is going to go back and forth like the letter V. I'm going to use my special ball for this ND ball. Body staying up straight, back and forth. Right hand. Left hand. Dribble back and forth. Notice here that I'm in control of the ball. Toss back and forth. Do that obviously with a medium basketball. Do it with a larger basketball for my older students. Find something that works for you at home. Next one was called arch ball. Hold the ball to your side, toss it over your head, and try to catch it with the opposite hand. So with this one, I would suggest we use a smaller ball. I'm going to hold the ball right here on my side, toss it over my head, try to catch it with the other hand. Difficult skill, practice. Remember, you may not be very good at it right now, but with practice, you're going to get better. Toss back and forth. Notice I'm keeping my eyes on the ball, back and forth. Um, if you don't have one of those, you know, here's a tennis ball, back and forth. Find something that you feel comfortable with. Next one is called the high ball. And with the high ball, you want to throw the ball up high in the air, keeping your eyes on the ball. You want to see if you can catch it without moving your feet. So you really gotta make a good toss with this. If you throw it too high or out of control, you won't be able to catch it. So you wanna do high ball. Kindergarten and first grade students, see if you can do it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Here's a different ball. One, two, three. Notice I'm making a good toss. I'm not moving my feet. I'm keeping my eyes on the ball. High ball. And I think I've got one left here. Oh, this is the hardest one. Turn ball. Toss the ball straight up in the air. Turn it completely around and catch it. Now with this one, I would let you go ahead and, and use a bounce. All right, so let's see what that looks like. We're going to take the ball, make a good toss up, see where it's bouncing, and catch. Start out again, throw it up, bounce, and catch. So there are 10 activities for you to do with the ball. Another activity I'd like to see you working on while you're at home is some dribbling. Remember that when we bounce and catch, the ball hits the ground one time and we catch it, working on keeping our eyes on it. When we dribble the ball, the ball is in continuous movement. We want to keep our hand on top of the ball. We're using our fingertips, and keeping the ball below our waist. Right hand. Remember, we want to try to use both hands. Left hand. Notice I'm keeping the ball at the same level. Right hand, left hand. I'm in control. Older students, second, third grade students, see if you can walk. Maybe. I'm in my driveway, go to the end of the driveway and back. See if you can do that while you're in motion and dribble. All right. Ball handling skills. A um, couple fun games that I saw um, on the internet. Take some laundry baskets and put some pieces of paper on the top of each basket. 
kind of spread them out maybe at different distances. And I have a, um, some colored balls that I got from school. You may not have those, so just grab a ball and just say, all right, this time, I'm gonna see if I can get it in the orange basket. Or maybe I'm gonna try to get it into the purple basket. Our garbage man is here today. Um, so stand back, maybe five feet. If you're an older student, stand back farther. When we do the underhand toss, I've got a yellow ball. I don't have a yellow basket. Let's go with a red ball in a red basket. I want to step with the opposite foot, bend my knees, and swing my arm. There's a red one. This one was see if I can get into the purple basket. Oh, too hard. Try the purple basket again. Step, toss. Oh, too hard. All right, let's try the orange one since it's in the back. Step, toss. No good. Step, and toss. Maybe I should have practiced more when before I did this, huh? And blue. All right, I'm gonna stick with the red one first. All right, again, don't get frustrated. It's just a challenge and have fun with it. Um, the last thing I saw is someone took some paper plates and they taped some sticks to the back of it. And with the brother and sister, they blew up a balloon and they played ping pong, hitting the balloon back and forth. Something maybe you want to do inside, not so windy if you're using a balloon, back and forth. Obviously you don't have a tennis racket, this is kind of make your own racket. Um, one other thing that you can do while you're at home, got milk cartons. I cut the bottom of it off, hold the handle, and work on tossing and catch. Kindergartners and first graders, let the ball bounce. Throwing the ball up, bounce, see if you can kill it, catch it in the milk jug. Second, third grade students, catch it without the bounce. Those are some activities for you to do in our distance learning. Remember that these are suggestions. You can play basketball, go out and kick a soccer ball, ride your bike, take a walk, uh, a variety of things that you can do. Be active, have fun. Uh, I want you to know that I'm thinking about you. Um, some of you have been sending me pictures and um, videos of things that you've been doing at home. I love seeing those. So share those with me and I'll see you next week for our next video. Thank you and have a great week.